Hello, myself Shivaraju. I'm doing integrated MPhil and PhD in cognitive science. Uh, see, I'm the close witness of this whole incident. Like I reached there around 4:30 like that. Then this, by the time I went there, this they have started sending all of us outside. Then we said, uh, then I told them, don't beat us. We are going like that. We came out. By the time, like after we reaching, after we reached outside the gate, also they have started attacking on us, attacking on us. Like there, what we felt is like that they are not uh, beating people randomly. They are beating everyone, but people whom they have taken, they are not, they didn't take, they didn't take people uh, randomly. They took people selectively. For example. Uh, like in the group we are standing there but they didn't take anyone any of us who are there but they they rushed into the group and they took uh, selectively particular people and in like this who do, do you know anyone to whom they have taken? exactly i don't know their names but they took them they took uh, in this brutality uh, like so many people have been badly affected especially one of my friend named uh, harish dunga like he firstly they have beaten him there at gate as there at gate but after that all by that time like after beating there he is badly injured we tried to rescue him when we went there even then also this police police people they said you go away we'll send him like that they told us but we resisted by that then they showed their lotties on us then we like we move, we stepped back then later they took him to like back side of a car there there they kicked in his stomach and like there is a video also available in that you can listen you can listen his screamings later after beating very badly also later they brought him they brought him aside and there also there also one police named i think he's ramesh or someone he's 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 tapping on his head forcefully and they took his photo by holding his uh, hair like putting his head straight like that they have beaten him very badly and also if you see other people also like their tot their body is like it seems to be like they have they have they have attacked on us with blades like most of our, most of their wounds are like that this is what like uh, even after the incidents also all like what i'm what i found is that after taking all these people uh, like without keeping them in a particular police station they moved from like uh, miyapur to chandanaga chandanaga to gachpoli gachpoli to narsinga uh, narsinga to uh, like different different police stations this is uh, like police they are just mere puppets of the government they can't do all such things uh, so this is making me to think that uh, there should be uh, some people who are behind this either maybe uh, the state government or it may be the central government like you and so we have to think about where is harish now now he is in central jail what we have like i didn't meet him tomorrow i am thinking of going to meet him like what i have heard from my from my fellow beings is that whom they met today uh, they saying that the people who who are there they are saying that please continue the movement we are okay with it we are eagerly waiting to join with join with you to so, continue the movement that's what so they say harish is our common friend can you say a few lines about harish like did he deserve this kind of brutality on him and the, the arresting and then these charges do you think that harish as a student will you know him as a friend he's your colleague so personally i know him very well like he 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 won't accept any injustice he he his ideology like if anything goes wrong he's 
like he's always there to fight fight for it like even on that day also he didn't throw the stones or he didn't break the glass they took him only because uh, only because his maybe his name is on some selective list that's why they took him they selectively targeted him that's what did he belong to any political organization in the yeah he's very active in sfi so so do you think is it possible that he belonged to a particular group that's why he has yeah, been targeted yeah that's what it's my strong feeling that it, they have targeted him because he strong, like actively participate in politics and that's from that it, particular organization yeah, sfi yeah and also uh, i want to give one message to this uh, what you call boot licking administration is that maybe today you are not with us but all world is with us one day you will come to know what the mistake you had done that's all. Yeah, thank you harish